Hello everyone, this is Alex with another video and uh, this one's going to be a quickie. Um, in this video I'm going to document how I was able to figure out how to make two uh, 3D objects interact. And what I mean by that is, let's say you have a horse like the one you see on your screen and you want to have a 3D model sit on that horse. Uh, how would you do that? Uh, some of you may know this already, I did not know it until I figured it out today. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So, all right. So let's say you have this horse. It could be anything, a motorcycle, a car, you know, whatever, bicycle. All right. So you have this uh, 3D model there that I downloaded from, I believe, SketchUp. All right. And uh, now you want to sit something on there, a model. Um, so let's say I go here and the body type and just grab a female or a male model. Drag it onto the stage. Make sure it went onto the same layer. It went to another one. Uh, that's a whole different ball game. <laughs> All right. So, so you have the model there with the horse. Um, so, how do you get that model to sit on the horse when when you move it, everything moves together? Uh, it's very simple. Um, what you got to do is come over here and lock the horse because the horse is fine. It's the model that you need to work with. The uh, you know human model. All right, and in order for you to uh, get this to sit on that horse, um, I recommend that you use, this is the only way I was able to do it, is use these controls here, um, X, Y, and Z axis um, to move them. So what I'm going to do is, well, you can actually move the model now that the horse is locked. You can move the model using this, these little controls right here. But I find it kind of wonky, so that's why I recommend you use the, uh, the these controls. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, first slide them down using Z axis. No, maybe not Z axis. Maybe it's uh, is it X? Okay, and then you're going to scale it. You can use these controls to scale. Just pretty much eyeballing it for now. That looks about right. Then you're going to see if you can turn them around. Kind of lining them up with the horse. All right, and the Y axis is up and down. See, even that's kind of wonky. Right, so now X axis, S, I can't even talk today. Z axis will move them to the side, and that looks almost, almost on right on point. Um, all right, so you have her almost lined up with the horse. So what I do is I go over here and I find a pose that's uh, as close as possible to the one I'm, you know, somebody sitting down. And uh, there's one in here that's really perfect. Here it is. So you grab this and just run onto there. Of course, it's gonna move her down, but that's not a problem because we're gonna use the axis to move her back up. All right. So oh, man, that's almost perfect there. All right. So now you just start pretty much. Oops. Pretty much posing them out. All right, and let's say the leg. Spread out the leg, bring it down a little bit. Okay. And uh, that's I'm almost perfect there, but uh, I don't know what's going on with the other leg. So in order, in order to look at that, I'm going to have to unlock the horse. When you do that, now you're, when you turn this around, you're turning everything. It looks like it, looks like it worked out pretty good. I might have to move her up just a little bit, but I think it's pretty good there. Um, so from here, all you gotta do is pose out the rest. All 
Alright, so you pull out the rest like your oops. <laughs> Alright, so you yeah, so you pull out the rest the way you would normally do any of your models. And uh one thing I would suggest you do is um go ahead and drag it from here onto your materials somewhere wherever you save them. I put mine in I think in 3D my 3D materials or something. And that, that way, if you need a horse again, you don't have to, uh, you know, somebody on a horse again, you don't have to do it all over again. All right, so yeah, that was it. My pretty short video, but this took me forever to figure out. I could not figure out how to do it until today. So thanks for watching. I hope this is useful for you. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.